It's 96.3 K-Rim LP, and it's time for your community spotlight. Fanny in the studio right now with four remarkable young ladies facing high school's FFA in the house right now. In fact, girls, if you wouldn't mind just uh, taking a second here and introduce yourselves to anybody out there. Okay, I'm Emma Lowry, the Payson FFA chapter president. Hi, Emma. Hi. I'm Destiny Tinin, the Payson FFA chapter community development vice president. Uh, my name is Riley Hall, and I'm the student development vice president. And I'm Olivia Long, and I'm the chapter secretary. Right on. Officers in the house today. Welcome to the show. How's it going? Pretty good, good, pretty good. Right on. I know I'm talking at you kind of through my mic stand here, <laughs> but I wanted our camera to be able to, to tune into you here. You know, we're streaming on uh, Ustream, not to mention online, uh, you know, through like free streams, tune in and all of that. But the Ustream is like our video, and uh, I'm recording this so that you can share it. This is really exciting news right here. Uh, you guys are going to nationals. Pace and FFA going to nationals. Yeah. Uh -huh. Congratulations. Yeah, Thank yeah, you. Yeah, we're all pretty excited about it. And, like, we get to go to Nationals in October, and we get to go to uh, Louisville, Kentucky this year. So. You guys are going all the way to Louisville, huh? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Have you any of you ever been back east before? No. 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 I was just in Pennsylvania, so I saw all the east, and it was really cool. Oh, right on. So it, it is. It's absolutely beautiful. Then oh, you yeah. know what I'm talking about. It's just a gorgeous area over Definitely. there. Now, if you don't mind, uh, let's just go ahead and start from the beginning. Anybody out there listening who might not know what FFA is all about, can uh, one of you gals explain it for us? FFA is a national organization that focuses on agricultural education, um, and it also focuses on premier leadership, personal growth, and career success as well. And some of the different areas that you guys practice in include? Um, so, some of the things that we practice in is like, um, like we, we get to go to like career development events, which is like our competitions. And uh, we have three main state competitions, which is the, Mi the midwinter uh, mm -hmm. competition, which mm -hmm. is held at ASU Polytechnic Campus. And then we get, we get to go to our spring conference, which, which is held at the University of Arizona at their College of Agriculture and Life Sciences. And then we have our state leadership conference, which we got to find out our national ranking and everything, or our state ranking. Mm -hmm. And that's also held at the main campus at University of Arizona. That's so exciting. Now, FFA, Future Farmers of America, are you ladies uh, intending to remain in agriculture as you head off into the future? Uh, yeah, I am. I'm not really sure what I want to do, but I know at once I have do like I want to do something in agriculture. Now, what 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 drives you all to to uh, move forward in the agricultural field at a young age? A family history in agriculture? Is it just a natural interest? Um, for me, my family doesn't really do it, but my sister was really into FFA, mm -hmm. and as she got into it, she got to go to do a bunch of internships. She went to an internship in Montana and uh, lived on a ranch for like three or four months, and was able to work with um, cows and just have help with their production. She mm -hmm. did Tyson Foods in um, Arkansas. And after I saw all of that and she was having a blast doing it, then I really wanted to get into it. And so then I started with the agriculture program. And so I just know I want to do something in that. But What about you, Olivia? Um, I don't necessarily know if I want to work like in the agriculture like industry, but I think it'd be really cool to be an ag teacher like our wonderful advisor, Mr. Rutherford, because mm -hmm. I know I want to be a teacher and because I'm so into FFA, it'd be really cool to continue on with that. What What are some of the, well, what about you girls before I head off? I'll, I'll forget. Um, I want to <laughs> stay in the agriculture industry. Um, I want to be a veterinarian actually. So. Ooh, right on. So yeah. then you could even probably focus on large animals or agriculture animals and as well as uh, just you know puppies and kitties and stuff yeah, that's cool definitely. and yeah. how about you Briley um I, I've actually started about thinking of, like I want to become an agricultural teacher yeah and being a, being a senior this coming year um I, I, I kind of want to apply to U of A and stay in state and whatnot and, mm -hmm. and just becoming an act like I've always been involved in agriculture all my life because I, when I was younger, I would always I would rodeo all around the state, and right my on. mom was a big part of FFA, and it's just been a pretty good ride, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> multiple generations there, yeah. yeah, yeah, indeed. Well, that's really exciting. What are some of the programs that they have here at the Payson High School uh, Ag facility? 
Um, some of the programs that they have is they actually started it this past year. It's a uh, they have one class for their advanced class, which is a uh, um just like the traditional animal science class. Mm -hmm. And the new course that they started this year was the uh, veterinary assistant class, which is which is just, which mainly just focuses on like veterinary medicine. Wow, that's really cool. That is really cool. Now, what are you going to the nationals for exactly? Uh, when we go to nationals, we're going to go and find out our rankings throughout the nation of what mm -hmm. PACE and FFA is. And what is the ranking based on? Um, the ranking is all based on um, the like a percentage that your chapter like goes through. Mm -hmm. And there's three uh, different... like criterias i guess you could say and those thing those three criterias would be um student development chapter development and community development so obviously then uh, you guys are are judged by your involvement in those three things correct the level of involvement and you guys are uh, in the top four right you're like yeah. one of the top four chapters in the whole state correct yes. so you really got it going on yeah <laughs> do you think living out in the middle of the boonies gives you an edge <laughs> <laughs> kind of <laughs> we have a really strong agricultural community a lot of yeah. ranching you know a lot of equestrians we love yeah you know and, and, and i think that kind of gives us like gives us like kind of like a um like a extra an yeah an extra head start so do you have to deliver lectures and stuff like that while you're at the nationals um i i don't believe so no okay so it's just going to be kind of uh just Sounds like fun. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of fun going on there. You're like, dude, we've done the work. Okay, it's yeah. time. So so what's next then after nationals? Um, that that's just that, that's just about it, yeah. And, yeah. and we start the whole entire process again. Yeah. Right on, right on. Well, that's really cool. So, But you're graduating then. This is your senior year. Correct, yes. Fantastic. Are you guys, uh, are all of you seniors? Or? Juniors. Juniors. Right on. So you got another year then, huh? Yeah. And, and Mr. Rutherford, Dave here, is in the house right now. I mean, Dave, you got to feel pretty good knowing like two out of four of the people sitting here right now were uh, inspired by you and actually even intend to go off into uh, teaching themselves. Yeah, the uh, it is pretty cool to see the kids really get excited about um, what we do. And, you know, there, there's so much as far as, uh, you know, two of them did uh, extemporaneous speaking. So they have to really, uh, they did that <laughs> at state uh -huh. and so and districts. And so what they have to do is to understand the issues in agriculture and be able to explain that and come up with a speech in 30 minutes and mm -hmm. present it in front of a group. Um, Destiny, she went and did uh, egg issues, and Briley also uh, was part of the egg issues team. Ooh. And <laughs> so they looked at the hunting point system and then did a presentation. Wow. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And so it there's a whole bunch uh, to it as far as leadership goes. And so that's kind of the, for me, it's the exciting part to see them uh, take on kind of some tough projects and, and go for it. Yeah, that's intense. But I think, like, once again, just the, the area that we live in gives them kind of a, if anything, perhaps not an advantage so much as uh, maybe a little extra insight into some of the issues mm -hmm. that we do face here. Yeah, and, and really, I, I think FFA is it's all about hard work mm -hmm. and having high expectations and, and yeah. fulfilling those expectations. Yeah. And um, it doesn't matter if it's in agriculture or something else, yeah. um, you know, that hard work and effort, I think is going to, it's going to follow through for the rest of their life. Seriously. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the truth. And, and I, like ever since my like freshman year, I can definitely say that as soon as I stepped in, as soon as I stepped into the cl the ad classroom for the on the first day, I y you could tell that like FFA kids are like like a whole different like breed of students. <laughs> yeah. So, what do you think? Uh, what do you think about them that like that that helps them stand out in their own way? Um, like Mr. Rutherford said, uh, just having like higher expectations over like other like other students and everything, mm -hmm. and I I remember when we when like Fox Ten came in and everything. Um, before FFA went on, uh, we were talking to Corey McCloskey, mm -hmm. and I, I, I will never forget this. He said, um, it was, I think it was me, Destiny, and another officer. He said that if, if he was ever hiring anybody, that he would, if, if there were any FFA students, he would 
higher than first mo- over anybody. <laughs> he gives I, I you. Was pretty expi- I was pretty excited about that. That's yeah. really cool. And you have an insight into like due process and just mm-hmm. sort of a, a processing in general as far as being a committee, working on a team and yeah. Yeah. follow yeah. through. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's wonderful. So, But you guys are heading off to Kentucky. Yeah. That is an expensive trip. How many of you guys are going? Oh. Um, seven. No. Seven eight, officers. Eight. Oh. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Okay. So eight of you all together. Uh, now, are, do you do you have any fundraisers? Uh, are you do you already have the money for this trip, or are you guys uh, going to be raising money to go? Um, we have a couple fundraisers outlined. We just don't mm-hmm. like we know we know they're gonna they're for sure go, but mm-hmm. we just don't know the dates yet. Yeah. Well, as you guys move forward with this, I want you to stay in touch, okay, and let all us right. know. Right. And then when you get ready to start this whole thing all over again as you move forward, keep us in mind, okay? It's just right. uh, one more right. tool for yeah. you in your yeah. communication and outreach to the community, okay? All right. All right. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you guys, gals. <laughs> you women right here. That's right. FFA right here. We've got Briley Destiny M Emma and Olivia it, enjoying the rest of their summer. Am I correct here? Yeah. For oh, goodness yeah. sakes, do you ever take a day off? You're supposed to be vacationing right now. <laughs> this is our vacation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Shamelessly promoting their FFA agenda. Yeah. Right here. Dave, thanks for inviting everybody in here. Okay. Look forward to, to talking to you again. It's the Community Spotlight right here on 96.3 KRIM LP.